We can have great indoor fun with our children, even doing the simplest things. Laura Davis is the owner of College Nannies and Sitters. She says the kitchen, a great place to get your little ones involved and a great place for them to learn too. Make it a math uh, problem. So instead of measuring everything with a wide variety of measuring cups, only set out the quarter cup. And while you're in the kitchen, you can combine salt, water, and flour to make salt dough. You're going to make that mixture, put it together just like you would sugar cookies. We've rolled it out here. Throw it in the oven and you have ornaments like these for the kids to decorate. And don't underestimate what you can do with recyclables around the house. This is just the inset of actually a humidifier that I got the other day. Taking this, we've put different numbers on here. It becomes a manual, kind of a pinball machine. You can drop marbles in here. The kids can roll it around. If arts and crafts aren't necessarily your thing, Laura offers up a family book club night. Throw on an audiobook and get cozy. So as a family, pop some popcorn, turn off the lights in the living room. Maybe you build some forts, but everybody can enjoy listening to audiobooks. You can have it be themed. Bottom line, none of this has to be over the top or Instagram worthy. Laura says simple time together is what it's all about. We just need to pause and say, what can we do with what we have right here in front of us? Really fun projects come out of that. Brian Pyatt, CARE 11 News. Okay, so we found a recipe online for that salt dough that Laura talked about, and we have a link to it under the sunrise section at care11.com. Yeah, I look for it all day. I was lucky I found it. Oh, yeah. sure. Good. Now yeah. you've got to make it. Now yeah. I'm going to make Post it. Post a photo, right. Chris, or it didn't happen. <laughs> Me and all the kids are going to have a ton of fun later today. There it is. And, and